Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am participating in a playlist with my original challenge group. I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my Oliver and we are very happy you stopped by today. And if you are returning, we are very happy you stopped by as well. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm gonna start off with these tulips that I got from Michaels. They're normally $3.99, but they were on sale for $1.99. I'm using these half beads I got off of Amazon around Christmas time. They are in my Amazon store. My Waverly White Chalk Paint, this placement I got last year when it was on clearance, I think it was 75% off um, from Hobby Lobby. And then this plaque that I got from Dollar Tree last year as well. Now you could use any kind of sign that you have and any kind of material you may have to make this. So I just took off the twine hanger and that bow and then I'm going to paint the back side of it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. Once it was all painted and dried, I took my elephant chalk paint by Waverly and I am just distressing all around the edge and then I am going to distress all around the middle as well. Now, it's not gonna look like very much because it wasn't. I did go back later and distressed a little bit more to give a little more contrast with those white flowers. So here I'm just cutting that uh, placemat and um, down to the size that I wanted it. And then here I'm just using my ruler to uh, help me cut a straight line and so I'm just cutting that down as well and then I'm just hot gluing that to the back of the side now this is a double layered uh, placemat so as you can see the top layer was still loose so I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to um, have that stay firm as well after that I am going to take these half beads and I'm just going to put these down um, on each color so I'm like trying to center them between each stripe and then just going down on each side with those as well and I hope that makes sense and if you notice I just moved my finger protector from my right hand to my left hand I was doing that and realized what am I doing it's on my right finger that's not going to help me any <laughs> I do that all the time you guys I don't know if you've noticed or not but yeah I do that all the time so then I'm just lining some down on the bottom and then I'm just going to go down and hot glue them on the bottom just trying to kind of keep them as even with each other as I can and after that, I'm just gonna cut off some of these tulips and then I'm just placing them inside of the little pocket there. And I think I use about half of the, the bunch of tulips that's on this uh, pick. And uh, as you can see, the white doesn't stand out very much because of that white background. So um, I did end up, I didn't show up, but I did end up adding a little more distressing on it just to help them pop out a little bit more. So after that, I'm just gonna take some of this black and white buffalo check ribbon. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby last year. I'm making a bow by just making the awareness sign, scrunching in the middle, using some jute twine um, to tie it. And that's all there is with that bow, other than I will also dovetail the ends. And then after I have this fluffed, I'm gonna dovetail the ends and then I'm going to make a hanger. Um, I think I took just the, the twine that came off of it that was the previous hanger and I'm just making a regular hanger with it just tying it in a knot, and then I'm going to hot glue that bow right there by the hanger. And after that, I'm gonna turn it around and use some shipping paper from Dollar Tree to cover it all up, because even, I don't know you guys, I'm running out of space, so I think I'm gonna have to try and start selling these things. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna use an Etsy shop or if I'm going to try and look for 
uh, craft fairs, something, but I've got it. I'm running out of room. <laughs> so then I'm just taking my X-Acto knife and um, trimming up that paper. Now, if you recreate this and you go to, tr if you cover it as well, be careful not to cut your material because I did. So I used had to use a little hot glue on it to kind of um, seal it. So anyways, here is the final piece of this. I just love it. It's so farmhouse, but yet it has tulips, which are one of my favorite flowers. You have to let me know what you think about this one. So today I am co-hosting with my sweet friend Krista with Krista's Crafty Life in the Tiptoe Through the Tulips uh, Challenge. And it has some of my sweet friends are involved with this. So make sure you check out Krista's channel and the playlist and see what everybody made for you today with tulips. So let's get on to the next one. Here's DIY number two. So for this DIY, I'm going to use my Waverly White chalk paint, uh, these tumbling tower blocks, this napkin from Amazon, and this plaque I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna start off by painting this plaque white, and I do the front and the back as well. And then after it's all painted and dried, then I'm gonna take my finger sander and I'm just gonna go around and just distress all around the edges because I really wanted it to have that like natural distress look. I wanted it to you to see a good portion of that plaque that the color that's underneath it. And I love the way this comes out. It's very farmhouse and I just love it. I am I just really love farmhouse and every time I do it I realize just how much I love it. So then I'm trimming out this napkin and it is two ply so I'm I'm cutting the bottom part here because it has all the bumps and then I'm just taking that second ply off and then I'm just going to go around with my scissors and I'm trimming all the way around all those flowers and I know there's easier way to do this I know a lot of people will do the water with the paintbrush and stuff but I really wanted to get as close to the flowers as I could because for me I just feel like that gives it a more real look um, the less napkin you see, the more it looks real, like a painting. And it's the same with the window clings that I do. I just feel like it just gives it a better, more high-end appearance. So after I had it all cut out, I just use my Mod Podge and I go all the way around the front with a just a, a light layer. I try not to do too much because I think when you get too much of the Mod Podge, that's when you find a lot of the wrinkling. So after I... Uh, put the napkin on here. I'm just using my squeegee I got from Plaid. I love this little thing and I'm just really lightly going over it and making sure that it's all um, getting adhered to that Mod Podge and that there's no wrinkles. It helps really eliminate the wrinkles. Once it dried, I let it dry a little bit, then I'm just putting a light layer of the Mod Podge over this napkin as well. And again, I th really think that if you put too much of the Mod Podge, that's when you really start seeing it start wrinkling. So I try not to put too much. After that, I hot glued two of the tumbling tower blocks together, and I'm just going to use this as a stand. So I'm just going to hot glue that right to the back of that um, plaque. And if you wanted to have this to be a hanging plaque, you could definitely add some twine to the back and have it hang as well. And then after that, I took this little butterfly. It's a wood piece that I got from Amazon and I'm using my purple pansy, wild grapes and black. And I'm just using the purple pansy to paint on the very bottom part of the butterfly. And then I'm gonna use the wild grapes on the top part of the butterfly. And then I'm going to use my black, um, in the middle and for the antennas and as you can see I didn't even wash my paintbrush I'm just wiping it off I'm going from lighter to darker a color so I figured it wouldn't matter too much and um, I don't know just save time and I lately I've been just using so many paintbrushes that I keep running out <laughs> <laughs> before I'm done crafting. So I'm taking taking some of these uh, glue dots and I'm just gonna put one behind that butterfly and put it on the top. So we have a 3D butterfly. 
Then I decided to kind of do the same thing with this twine. I'm just going to hot glue it over the bow that's on that napkin. And then I'm just gonna trim down those legs and hot glue those in place as well. So it just kind of looks a little more real and has that 3D look. And then after I get done, um, and I just put just a little bit, you don't need a lot of hot glue on that, just enough to get it to stick. And then I do the same with another piece of um, twine there. And then after that, I decided I'm gonna um, wrap this piece with some jute twine and I'm just uh, putting little dabs of hot glue in the middle and along the edges just to keep it in place. And then after that, I think this is done. And I love this napkin. I will have um, it in my Amazon store in case you're interested in it. It was a little spending, but you do get a lot. But I just, I think they are so, so beautiful. And tulips are my second, well, not my second. They are one of my favorite flowers. I just love all the colors. And so I was excited to pick tulips for this one. Okay, so you'll have to let me know what you think about this. I just love it. <laughs> let me know what you think as well. Okay, if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my social media accounts as well as other accounts that I'm affiliated with in my link tree in the description box below. And I just want to give a shout out to Lila Crawford. Thank you so much. She bought me a coffee the other day and I truly appreciated it. Okay, number three. So for this DIY, I am going to take the Scrabble pieces. And then also I got this tulip off of Amazon. And these uh, bamboo rings from Dollar Tree that I just recently found. And then my Waverly chalk paints in the color white, fern, and lavender. So I'm going to start off by uh, painting this, these uh, bamboo rings with my white chalk paint. And then after that, I am just going to go around and distress with my elephant chalk paint. If you're new here, I want to say welcome. My name is Brenda and I am so glad that you stopped by today. I, if you like what you see and if you like home decor on a budget and holiday decor and thrift flips and gift ideas, then I invite you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of our growing YouTube family. I would love to have you join. And then let me know in the comment box below that you are new and what your was your favorite DIY today. Day. And if you are not new, make sure you hit that thumbs up if you like today's video and comment. That really helps my channel grow and I really would appreciate it. So after that, I decided to distress these Scrabble pieces and I don't know what I was doing, you guys, but I got way too heavy handed and yeah, I didn't like it. So <laughs> I'm painting this tulip. I'm painting the leaves and the stem with my fern color chalk paint. And I do front, back, and sides. And then I'm going to take my lavender chalk paint, which I think is so pretty. It's such a pretty color. And I painted the flower part on both sides and on the side and both front and back as well. <laughs> And then I went ahead and did some distressing as well. Now, if you don't like distressing, of course, you don't have to do that. If you're going to recreate it, just make it your own. Do whatever you like. Um, one, one thing I almost did with these was made little white um, stitch lines along the flower. But I really wanted it to be a little more rustic, a little more farmhouse. So that's why I decided to, to distress it as well. So then I'm just hot gluing the two rings together at the top. And then I'm taking some of this black gingham ribbon I got from Dollar Tree. And I am just going to make a hanger out of it. And I'm just going to add a little dab of hot glue and put those two ends together. Then I'm going to um, hot glue that seam to the rings so that way it wasn't moving around and you're not seeing that seam. After I have that on there, I'm just going to hot glue that tulip right to that uh, small ring there in the middle. And then I'm just hot gluing the Hello Spring and this is where um, onto that ring there. And this is where I decided I really did not like the way this looked. I was like, this is just way too much distressing. So I took my cashew chalk paint and I'm trying to lighten it up with that. And I it kept going over the letters and I didn't like the way it was coming out. So I'm trying to wipe it with my thumb. 
And then I thought, okay, I'm going to go over it instead with the lavender. So I started going over it with the lavender and then I took a baby wipe and I used that to really clean up around the letters and that really did help. So then I took this um, twine and I'm just making a little twine bow and putting that right on the tulip. I just love the way that looks. And then I added a little bow above the hanger and that's all there was for this. You have to let me know what you think about it. But again, if you recreate it, be careful with that distressing. Maybe even not do any distressing on the <laughs> tiles because it did not come out like I liked it. But oh well, you have to let me know what you think about this. If you would like me to showcase your recreations, make sure you send me an email. My email is in my description box and I would love to showcase your creations on here. Here's DIY number four. So for this DIY, I am going to use this little container I got from a thrift store last year. It was $1.98, but it was half off of that. And then I'm gonna use some more of these tulips I got at Michael's and some of this pool noodle that I had cut up. And then I'm gonna use my Chalk Couture April transfer. So if you don't know it, I am a Chalk Couture designer. And this is the April transfer that anybody who has signed up for the Club Couture gets. It's an exclusive transfer only to those members that are signed up. You always get a an exclusive transfer as well as three pace and a squeegee every month for $19.99. And so here I am just uh, fuzzing this part of the transfer. This is the only part I'm going to use. And I fuzzed it because this is the first time using it and I don't want this to adhere too strongly onto my container because I don't want it to ruin my transfer when I take it off. But here is the problem. So it's really hard to do this on something that's round or oval. I was trying to make it work. I should have went with my gut to begin with. But here you can see I'm just getting it all on and I'm like, oh, it's going to work. I, it, it worked. It's it's all on there. I didn't feel any air bubbles. Um, there's a few up there as you can see at the top, but I thought, okay, it's around the silk screen. That's all we care about and it looks good. So I went ahead with my black velvet chalk paste and I'm just going over the words and it's working really good and then as i'm going around here i think it's around the p i could feel it bubbling up and i'm like oh no this may not be good so <laughs> that well i'll just continue and we'll see how it comes out so after i get this all on there with the chalk paste um you'll see when i uh, pull it up that it did go through on that p so no problem I went and cleaned my transfer and I used my board eraser that I get from Chalk Couture and I cleaned off that second part and then I'm just going to line this up I'm just making sure the G and that comma are lined up and I am just going to um, chalk that second part of the saying onto that um, container and this is what my gut was telling me to do in the first place I should have listened to my gut. I didn't, but <laughs> that's okay. We live and learn, right? And this is a way to show you as well. So I'm just going over it with my chalk paste and then it comes out beautifully. So um, yeah, I think you'll see that here in just a second. Just getting up all the excess. I didn't want to have too much on there. And there it is. It looks gorgeous. So after that, I am just taking my, wave, my Arteza paint marker and I'm going around the top and the bottom just to give it that Emmanuel um, enamel look and I am so sorry about my camera shaking I don't know what was going on I even asked my husband did we have an earthquake today because I don't know why this part is so shaky um, something was going on with the recording I think but anyways once that was done I just filled it with flowers and then I just made some little chip marks with that paint pen um, to make it look like the enamel was chipping and I love the way this uh, turned out. You'll have to let me know what you think of it as well. And then make sure you check out the playlist, check out Krista's channel and their, all the videos. And if you haven't subscribed to them, make sure you subscribe to them. They are all wonderful ladies and they're very talented and I love all of them so much. We've all become really good friends. And then after that, 
make sure you comment and give me that thumbs up maybe before you watch them. <laughs> and if you're still new here and haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button, become part of our family. And with all that being said, you guys, I'm gonna have a special video coming up either Friday or Saturday with Mother's Day gift ideas for you. So have your notification bell set. And with all that being said, I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.